Hello, uh, I want to show you a new product I did. Uh, probably you know about the unofficial facial help, help center. It is a website I did, I did uh, for searching in the facer documentation, in the facer examples, uh, in the facer source code. Uh, but now I did a desktop application, a desktop application, so you can browse all of these things, but offline and very quickly. Uh, it, it also integrates the examples from Facer, so you have here uh, what I say, uh, I call it like an integrated documentation environment. Uh, and let's see it in action. This is the application we have here. Uh, different views of the facer documentation and examples for example let's go part by part first view part the api you get here all the namespaces of the phaser documentation all the namespaces here in each namespace every class and method of the documentation of the api so you can Select it here and you get the documentation in the Spectre view or you can right click and open in the source editor. If you double click, it is what it does. Open it in the source editor. You can uh, open in a documentation editor if you want to read the documentation here with more space. You have all the elements you can perform some quick queries like a uh, tile set image for example everything you write here it look for it very quickly sprite all method about the sprite look also you can do some filtering for example if i want to see only the events i i check here show only event events and you have here all the events for example about file you have file complete event you here you look here the documentation the source code this is just look a file exporting a constant hey i don't want you to look hey hey go away go away yes i don't want you here okay <clears throat> so basically you perform quick queries here uh is showing the events showing only the constants or showing only the types if i want to see, see every class about inputs uh, if I want to see, for example, the events I want input are these one. Uh, where are them? For example, mouse. Oh, cursor. Focus. No, no, I don't know about that. The input events. I want to show everybody here. Uh, here I have boot destroy game object down all the events about inputs so let's go on in the API files is more or less the same but instead here everything is grouped in the face and namespaces but here are just the source code of phaser every api element is copied in the file defined by it let's see more here intercept cycle to cycle mm -hmm. rectangle the rectangle class the same if you select it it shows you the inspector the documentation every property here 
it's more or less like the API and it has the same if you build the API view open in the documentation editor okay uh, okay it's more or less looking in the phaser files no uh, you know the phaser files are organized more or less like the name spaces but it is not like that always there are some sometimes you need to find the exact file where is something defined and uh, you look that in this view the versions view this versions view shows you every version released in phaser and here you can see every new api defined in that version the same if you select e this you look in the specter view the documentation you can open it in the source code editor if you are looking for something like i don't know keyboard you can see in every version what, what is new about the keyboard okay now this one ap chains api chains uh, maybe you remember phaser chains and uh, this is the same you can do fast query here for example before i was looking for events about input now i will find here very very quickly these these are all the events if you put namespace look for example if i want to look i want to in the sun to add an image all about adding an image look at here the method i can write it like this too this the, this word is replaced by the phaser ascend uh, namespace by the phaser ascend class this add image you find here the method if i want to add for example is a tile map you get you go very quickly to the method you are looking for or for the api element you are looking for uh, i want to load a sprite sheet okay i want to know how is load in a sprite sheet you have to hear the method you always i love to do this sprite sheet oh, this how the sprite sheet the sprite sheet you get here documentation the source code about how it do that i remember for example and uh, i don't know if you think that arcade physics Mm, rotate what about rotate okay look I can rotate the group rotate around so this is a way for quickly find finding for find for quick search you have a special syntax here for looking for searching finding the api because look it follows the function if you want to look only for the class related to a keyboard you get it here a key combo keyboard manager keyboard plugin the key class you can do this kind of of queries okay now let's go to talk about examples in addition to look into the api in the api you can look into the examples code for example i want to see everything about adding a time map Add a time map you have this game here about adding a time map here you select this this is the line a line of code of the example of the multiple tile sizes example you select it here you look in inspector view what's the the file where where is the example you can play it 
you can play that example here is down and you can see the source code here quickly or you can open the source editor and you will see the whole the complete example here as i told you you can play it you can open it in the phaser labs it is included here in the tool it is completely offline you can move here in the phaser labs the phaser labs is a content made by the phaser author Richard Davy is something I, I, I get from the Phaser website. From this, uh, it is available to everybody and I include that in the tool. Actually, everything in that tool uh, is made by the Phaser team. Uh, the source, the, the Phaser source code, the documentation, the examples. I just did a tool for browsing that content. Look here, you can edit it here. I run the code. I don't know what I can change here, maybe. Let me see in the update, in the velocity of the character. Here is, I want to make it way faster. Thank you, way far. Run again. I want to make it more uh, slower. Let's go slower. 20. Run code. Yes, it's slower. You can play with the example. Again, this part, this was made by the Phaser team. I just include that in the tool. The thing, uh, the thing about the tool, about the face unofficial Phaser help center is that you can browse i think uh, with an advanced tools you can browse the phaser content okay let's continue here close here in the examples view you have in a folder organized by folder all the examples all the examples here container for example, if I double click a folder, it shows all the examples. You can browse there. Dev, about dev, multi container. You look here the same, the source code of example. You can play it. I don't know what it's going to do. Sorting layer. No, nothing about sorting layer. Sort dev sort dev sort layer children. Let's look here. Hey. Okay. So you have different ways of searching on the phaser content. I think this is a very long video and that's all for now. If you have any doubt, oh, just wait. Where you can get this? You go to the Phaser website. Look here in the Phaser website, Phaser editor website. In the products, you click here, unofficial Phaser Help Center app. Uh, you can get it from Gumrod. It is a product I have in Gumrod, but it is completely free. For getting it, you have to put price zero. Just write zero here. It is free. You don't have to pay nothing. I want this. You will get the files. It is cross-platform. It has only one download. I did it myself. Only one download for now. It is very fresh. So you get it here, you write your email address here, and that's all. You will get the links. Uh, with that email address, I will contact you later, uh, sending you 
news about Phaser Editor and promotions is the, I think, this is the good part of the product too. I'm not selling it, but I'm getting your, your email for sending ladies some, some messages. It's not too much. It's, I, I'm not going to spam you. So it is safe if you put your email there. So I think it's now for now. If you have any issue, any idea, any question, please write it here in the in the comments of the video. Like this video, follow the channel and see you later. Goodbye.